So in the last recording, <laughs> I um, added some substitutions. I got rid of the first and second endings, you know, all that stuff that um, kind of is a bit, a bit of a pain. So the, the other thing that uh, iRope Pro does is that you just kind of start, you know, you, you press da 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 and, and away you go. But how fun it would be maybe to add an introduction, uh, maybe 1625 one kind of thing. Uh, so I'm going to edit this. And uh, this is pretty simple to do. So basically what I'm going to do is create a four bar thing in front of the tune. So I'm, on every gig I work, I mean, you know, you, you, there, somebody's going to play an intro. You don't just start on it. And there's a few tunes you just kind of start on, but for the most part you don't. You, you start with an introduction. The piano player plays it or the bass player plays it or whatever. So, so what you could do here is um, I did this before is move this over. We got to create four bars in front of the top here. So I'm going to use this little arrow thing. First of all, I put this uh, uh, where it's blinking right there. That's the beginning of that measure. And then I press this. And then what it'll do is I'm just move this over so that this looks like a mess. And then keep doing it. And if you go too far, you can go the other way. Bing, like that. Okay. So now we created, we got an area here we can we can add stuff. So. Uh, so I'll put a double bar here, boom. Uh, I'm going to put uh, time signature 4-4, four, four, which means I don't need this 4-4, four, four, so I'm going to just take this. And, um, and, and for some reason, this, the time signature attaches itself to this uh, chord, so I'm going to get rid of that, boom. Okay. So here we go. And then I'm going to have um, put some bar lines here. Um, one there, uh, one here, one here, and then, uh, um, I don't know, it could be a double bar. It doesn't make much difference. I put a double bar, I mentioned that before, because the drummer does a little fill. For some reason, the, the program does that. So if you have a double bar, it causes a little bit of commotion going on. So we could do it a couple different ways. Let's do one chord per measure. So we'll do a, uh, we're in B flat, so I'll put B flat uh, 6, 9 to a uh, 1 and go to a 6 chord to a G7. It could be just a, or, or G13 or a G7 uh, flat 9. How about that? Piano players will do this. And then you have your choice of either a minor chord or a major chord. I always like the, the, this particular tune's kind of cool. I'll put its dominant seventh chord, C13, and then uh, F13, and then uh, F13 minus uh, or flat nine. When well, you put the flat nine there, the chord wants to resolve a little harder, so it's going around the circle from F to B flat. So, so here we've created uh, an introduction which is kind of neat. And uh, so let's, let's hear that. Uh, that way, it's not, you know, we're, we're, we're starting, we're not just starting right on the head. So let me save this. And I'll close it, and we have that. So let's play this, and here's now our introduction, so. There's our, there's our tune. So now we have uh, put an introduction, which is kind of, you know, that makes it kind of cool. Uh, now there's other things, there's other ways of doing it. Um, let me see if this one works. This actually is kind of a, a good way to go too. Um, let's say we'll do an edit. And what I'm going to do is go uh, backwards here. Um, I'm using the, the other arrow. And I'm going to get rid of all these chords. And then, um, let's see, let me add, I'm going to go forward now. So I could have done this a couple of different ways. I could have just, I could have just deleted that. Why didn't I do that? That would have been a lot easier. <laughs> well, that's <coughs> why I stay at home in my room. Uh, so for the fun of it, we'll just have a little drum introduction for two measures. It could be four, but we'll do two for the moment. So we're going to have a, uh, and I'm putting double bars here because the drums seem to get a little more active 
uh, if there's double bars happening. Uh, oh, I don't want that one. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to have uh, this one here. There we go. So we have this now. The, 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 the program kind of freaks out. You have to put up here that there's no chord. Um, up here you put uh, NC, NC. Uh, this is here, I don't need this. I'm gonna delete that. Okay, oh, it took, the, took my thing away too. Okay, so now, and then I'm gonna put the uh, time signature here, which is 4-4. Four, four. Ding, like that. Okay, now we're swinging. So what's going to happen is it's just going to be drums, and because there's a double bar here, it's going to sound like maybe he's doing a little bit of a fill. It's not great, but it's it's just something. So that gives you a, a way of, of getting into these tunes without... So you're starting on the head, but uh, now you have this little two-bar intro with the, with the drums. So uh, I'm done with that. So save, close. Now let's play this and see what happens. See if the drummer gets excited here. Any? There you go. Now that could have been a four bar drum thing. That would have been fine too. But um, let's play it again here. So at least uh, it's kind of a starting point. So. There you go. So it's got a kind of little fill. But the, the drums get a little more active when they see a double bar. Uh, going on and if you just put a, a single bar here it's just going to kind of play time so you can hear them kind of playing a little different fill with, with each of these so that's that's just a, another way of doing it so there's two ways of starting this tune uh, with an introduction and uh, if you want to do one six two five you know every every two beats you can do that as well however you want to do it but that's a, a great way of doing a little introduction and then you can play your tune okay just food for thought <laughs>